Hello, everybody. Okay. Don't mind if I'm out of breath at the moment. I just finished my workout. Today was abs and arms, and it was um, yesterday. I created new ones, new workouts for today for the next, basically the next month, but I'm going to be switching it up after two weeks, the order of how I do things. So yeah, and it was pretty invigorous. It was, it was a little difficult than what I'm used to. Um, I know I'm drinking out of a measuring cup. It's essentially so I can make sure that I'm getting my eight cups a day. So I fill it up to the two cups. Once I finish that, I know I've drank in one, et cetera, et cetera. Then I have my four, which equals the eight cups of the day. Not too weird. Uh, but yeah, I just uh, had my shower as well because I was absolutely drenched and I couldn't believe it. Um, yeah. Uh, so this is um, basically me completing my first week. Um, I'll take you and show you guys to the my calendar here and then below it, my workouts. I'll go over that in a few minutes. Um, first, I just need a couple seconds to recharge. Also, I was very excited to do this video and very excited because I don't often get entire workouts done. Holy shit. Yeah, that hurts. Uh, <laughs> um, but this is my first week completing a complete workout. Um, and it was a tough one because it was, um, it started on the Sunday. So I did abs and arms Sunday, Wednesday, and today being Saturday. Um, arms and abs. And then um, on the Monday, I did legs and glutes. And then on the Friday, I did legs and glutes. So I still had two days off just to, to relax in there as well, which I, I find is important for myself. And starting next week, as you'll see, um, from there on, I have at least three days off a week. Um, some weeks I have two days off in a row. Um, I mostly did that for one, I need the repair uh, for abs and arms because I think you're only supposed, to, I thought you were supposed to do 48 hours like of rest, so like two days. I was kind of told something differently and I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna consult with someone that I, um, I've asked questions before on Instagram. He's actually an amazing motivator and uh, basically he is probably the inspiration that shelled from all of this because he showed a lot of the workouts that can be done. Um, for example, I've gotten a lot of the ab routines I got. I started out with the one he showed everyone. So I started doing that and more and elaborating on that. Um, and, uh, from there, oh, I lost my train of thought, but either, either way, um, from there on, I get two, two days, two breaks a week for one for rest and two, so I can make videos as well. Um, you'll notice I made three videos this week or two videos last week today. I'm going to technically upload it on Sunday. So tomorrow. So it'll be for next week, but I plan on doing an ASMR video during next week as well. And then from there, I'll continue to do my journals, uh, the, like the one right here um, on the, what is it, the Saturdays. I'll film them on the Saturdays and either upload them Saturday night or Sunday. So I will have a video up every week and an ASMR video I'm going to do every other week. Last week, or earlier this week, I did one. Next week I want to do another one too because I just, I've missed it. And I would also like an idea from you guys if you guys want to give me one. That would be great for this week. I was thinking maybe um, a caring friend, but I've done a couple of those. But I also know they're very well liked. And I know haircuts are always, you know, they always go great. Um, so, yeah. I plan on doing it every other week for an actual ASMR roleplay video. So, yeah. I'm hoping I can get back out to the people that... I've probably lost over the last while and I totally get it because I'm I've done this exact same things I move on when I find someone's not posting as much too um, but I'm still very thankful for all the people who are still subscribed to me I really appreciate it because I really want to make something work of this I really want to help people and I know I have helped some people in the past as well but I want to keep it going because I with this newfound motivation, I feel wonderful and I feel great. 
and I want to try and give that to other people as much as I can as well because I know how much I've struggled with this entire weight loss fitness journey since 2011 so eight years ago now um, and from there actually I kind of wanted to get into what where my motivation came from because I don't know if many of you know but in the past videos when I've done fitness ones I've specifically said I can't like the motivation is hard to find like I can't keep that grasp that you know main reason and you know fit body just was apparently not enough for me because I didn't want to get it just because you know I just wanted it for different reasons and essentially what it came down to is um, I had situations happen and within my personal life and I kind of just took what I've heard from other people and what my own thoughts were which were negative not all the time but sometimes were negative about you know my weight and whatnot and the shape of my body etc but then it stemmed sorry I'm losing my track again <laughs> um, but it stemmed from something greater than that than just wanting that body shape it came from a place that I have thought over these last eight years this this body is what will you know make me most confident will make me happy I'll always be happy etc that now it's now in my mind as a set program that this is what I need to be that maximum confidence mind you I have my own confidence still but to achieve that maximum confidence that I could ever have in my entire life I feel is linked to me getting my life in order, getting fit, and eating right to live a healthier, brighter life. And I guess you could say this first week was almost an experiment, but I have never felt so happy on my own as a person than this week. I have been totally pushing out the thoughts of not being with anyone or not having any friends around or family around and I've constructed it myself and mind you I have family here and I do hang out with them sometimes but you know friends it's a different story with friends you know um, so from there it just I am comfortable being with me and by myself right now I'm totally fine with it and I could spend the whole day by myself and be okay and already the confidence is spreading on to me and I know that this is what I need to do it's not something that I want anymore it's something that I need to achieve for myself because I've always wanted it and I've always promised myself and now it's just a fixture in my own mind and where that all brings me back to is that my motivation comes from that I don't want to be the person that I don't want to be the reason that I'm unhappy that's just not fair or thoughtful or, or I can't even think of the word that's just destructive that's the word and I don't want to be that so I've decided that it's time for change a bigger change than I have ever pushed myself to do and yeah the workouts are hard and I have to push through them and everything but the pain that I feel of not getting to where I want to be and just giving up almost feels like on myself which I'm not saying everyone does when they do this I've just never pushed myself this hard and I can thank a lot of things for the reason why I'm here but mostly I want to thank myself for realizing this and pushing myself forward to do this and I'm just glad that I can bring all of you on board with me and like I said I really want to help anyone else who's struggling with this I want to help them find the motivation that is within them that they just can't unlock it's almost like you have to wait for yourself to be truly ready and it might be the case that this is it I might have just been not ready before and I I'm not mad at myself I had great years in the past I've had relationships friends and just happiness all in between 
but I want to be happy with just me now. And I am going to be, because this is the first time that I've done this. And I'm just rambling at this point. But anyways, that's what I wanted to say about that. Um, I am going to show you guys now my little calendar here. Oh. Yeah, this one isn't too ASMR, but I'm going to try and make it as much as I can. Um, let me switch this around. No? Okay, we'll go like this then. So this will all be backwards to you guys. But as you can see in my first week here, I finished abs, arms, legs, glutes, Wednesdays, ab, arms, uh, Friday, legs, glutes, and then just today, I did abs and arms. And then from there on, I have four weeks planned out, and I have all my workouts planned, and my ASMR video days planned, and all that stuff. And on each Saturday, I have updates of my measurements, which I will be excited to do, but it's going to take a bit to get there. I know things don't just shrink overnight or even over a week span. Uh, but yeah, so that is my schedule now. And then we'll move down to here. And it is my workout schedule here. First I have my abs starting here. And I start with 24 leg raises. Uh, then I do 30 V floor crunches. I do a minute and 20 minutes of planks, 12 minutes of, or 12 sit-ups, 25 reverse crunch scissor kicks, 35 crunches, one minute of side plank left, one minute of side plank right, 12 barbell side bends, one minute of side to side planks, one minute of plank hip raises, and 20 V floor crunches. And now I know you'll notice the, the scribbles. This one I put into here just so I could do 24 so it has more of an effect. And I took out this one because the barbell side bend I didn't realize was so strenuous, to be honest. So I just did 12. And I'm going to keep it from there and then build off there. With the legs here, we have 45 clam shells on each side, 50 squats, 40 dumbbell lunges, 20 leg lifts on each side and one minute wall sit. I did that one yesterday, and it was rather strenuous, so I was very happy to, to, uh, to see that. And then finally for arms, I do 15 sink push-ups, which is just over my sink in the bathroom, then another 15, then I do 10 sink V push-ups, so I put my arms, my hands together, and I do basically chest push-ups. And then another 15 sink push-ups. Then I do 12 dumbbell curls, 12 bench presses, 12 overhead lifts, 12 bench presses again, and then another 12 overhead lifts. Now I only did six of the very last one because my arms were about to fall off. And I don't want to drop the dumbbell because it is an exercise that goes behind my head and I don't want to hit my head. But yes, that is my routines. Also, I took um, pictures today. I don't plan on posting any until I am until I am at least a month in. So uh, my next pictures that I take, which is on the 3rd of March, which I'll be uploading another video. I will probably include those in there. I'm really hoping I have really good results by then. Um, if not, I gotta remember to keep striving forward because I will have some kind of progress because when I took my pictures this morning and I used pictures from a while back, they still, there was still a difference and I'm glad not much of a difference because I wasn't really working out at that time, but yeah, I didn't take befores because I didn't really want to at the point at that moment. But um, I will be now because I want to see the differences. And I also want to show you guys and everyone else in my life that it is possible, no matter how long you've struggled for it. If you really, in your heart, if it's what you want and you're truly ready for it, 
And truly ready for it is tricky because you don't get to decide that. Your determination and the motivation you decide basically does that. But I am, I will be happy to answer any questions from anyone about any workouts or eating regimens, uh, which I didn't touch on. Um, that's probably what I'll touch on next week um, because I'm enjoying what I'm doing for my eating. Um, even though some people don't like low carb, mine's not, mine's low carb, it's not no carb, even though that's what it says on my calendar. Um, I still include some kind of carbs because I do want fiber as well as you are supposed to have some kind of carb within your diet, you know, like in, I have two pieces of bread in the morning, usually. I've brought it down to one for the most part, so I have one piece of bread in the morning for the most part. I had two this morning because um, I wasn't eating a meat this morning. There's a whole bunch of different things why I do them. <laughs> I couldn't tell you if they were wrong or right, but I just, I go with what I feel in my gut for the most part. But anyways, I'll touch on more of that next week of exactly what the kinds of things I eat. Um, but I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I will um, be posting another video this week. So if you guys have any suggestions, please post them in the comments. Uh, please like and subscribe and I can't, I can't wait to the next video. All right. Take care guys.